히트 다 히트 히트 시즌 2 What up? Welcome back, everybody. We're, back. we're well, here. <laughs> didn't uh, realize we were just getting right into it, but it's okay. We we're getting are right into it, man. All tied up one to one. Yep, and this is the normal way of things. And I, I know I get like a bit harsh in some of these in some of these matchups where I'm like, well, it's it's pretty tough to see Chicken Bar winning this one. But when you look at the lineup today, it's pretty obvious. In fact, if Monday Castro doesn't vote for Young, because he might do that because he does stuff like that sometimes. He does do stuff like that. This may be one of the days where every single, or at least in the second part here, every single vote is 7-0. Even for the even for Gumiho to win for Chicken Maro, it's like yeah. it's it, this this matchup. The skill difference between every single player. Um, why would you even say the first one? The first one is like Gumiho just being like some kind of god in this matchup. But when you look at the rest <laughs> of them, it's like we're looking at a, a Star League finalist, a champion, a champion. Okay, I mean the what, yeah. what else do That's I say? Like I mean, I'm just next. being I'm being real with you guys. Okay, I'm being real and. Uh, Let's see Give it to if a straight wolf. either of these mirror match players, if they can do the unthinkable, if they can stop Innovation or Dark, two champions, then we can have that ace match. But one of them has to do it. Who's it going to be? Will it be Ryung here? He is 3-3 three three in TBT, which Innovation is 3-1. and one, Has a better overall record. And you can see... So far, head to head, innovation is ahead six to four. Actually, I think some of those matches were probably even back from the GSTL days. Boom. Oh, seven oh. There you go. Wow, does he know these things? Is he, is he some kind of wizard? I've been casting StarCraft in Korea for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we are going to jump into game number three here at TVT on King Sejong Stage. Top left, the Terran player from MVP, it's Ryung. And down the bottom right, in orange, the SKT Terran, it is Innovation. Did he get a haircut? Yeah, he did. He also, it wasn't, I think it was like last week, and he styled his hair a little bit differently today. Well, basically what I'm trying to say is he didn't really style it. Because he does, he has been really experimenting a lot. I'm going to get too deep on it, but... He was going for like a very popular style from China for a while there. Then he was going uh, with the kind of like uh, uh, where you you like put up a wall on top of your head. I don't know what that's called. Yeah. You just stick your hair up at the front. I may be the hair master, but I, I don't know the terms for the styles. It's all the just wall in my head. on top of your head. I'm like the Einstein of hairstyles. Like I know more than anybody. I just can't express myself. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, well, that was a parent. Uh, you know, with the wall on his head. Yeah. But... You guys know what I mean. Yeah. He's got the flat top. I don't know. I don't know. That's not what it's called. It's a different hairstyle. What style. is this style now? It kind of looks like a bowl cut. It's just, uh, well, my haircut, if I don't style it, it still looks okay kind of thing going on. Yeah. I suppose so. Ryung's kind of just got the normal Korean thing going on. The very bushy kind of front raccoon thing yeah. you got on the front of yeah, your head. Yeah, you, you know, know, he's got the same sort of style that MMA was rocking uh, when they were teammates, in fact. Uh, MMA liked to shave the sides off a little bit more, but Ryo, yeah. he's kind of keeping it a little bit more even. The tuna Terran as it is. So, faster factory here for Ryo. Faster CC for innovation. It's obviously going to be a trade-off for the more aggressive uh, timings for drops. Alien harass it and the like for Rio. Ryung has also taken double gas here, but he has not actually uh, put all of his workers on the gas. And now he's actually totally taken them off outside of one. So the very specific build to get a fast factory, and then he's going to do something else here that doesn't require a lot of 
gas. It's, I yeah, it's probably it's, Hellions. Yeah, it's probably going to be a very similar Hellion style because that you know only cost Marils. You only need the startup gas cost for the factory, and he's going to add a CC into the starport, so he has those extra minerals um, from pulling out now. The Reaper will scout what Innovation is up to. This factor time is pretty normal. Almost delays it. One shot away, but fails to do so. And Innovation's even considering going for the chase here. Decides to back off instead. And the Starport on the way here. First for Innovation. I think we'll see it planted Whoa, here for Real. look at Curry this. Late. It's the, as the Koreans like to say, the triple here. Very fast. The oh, three baby, CCs. the triple. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know about this, man. This might get scouted. Well, there is a wall actually on the left side, that cliff. Ryung did a very nice job there. And he's putting on some pressure at the same time, so he's making it seem like, you know, he's got something going on here that's not very greedy economic play. I just feel like he, without the starport here, with these add-ons he's adding right now, he leaves himself very vulnerable while he's doing this build. Obviously, that's just kind of how the build works. You're greedy. It's a greedy build. You can't like have the the tech I'm talking about and have the CC. That's just physically impossible. Oh Whoa. my God! What a genius! What a god! <laughs> Innovation. Well, he he's like I just innovated. Scout. No one will ever wall in TVT on this map ever again. <laughs> ever again, this will never happen. History was made today. Innovation's like, did you know you could bounce over the wall? Everyone on the internet's like, <gasps> everyone collectively <laughs> gasps together as Ryung realizes he wasted 300 minerals, and wow. that was totally worthless. I mean, he didn't see the third CC, but he saw the super late starport, so he might be like, ah, well, this also, is odd. Yeah, he Something's weird here. I should pressure. He was planning on pressuring anyways, but now he knows that there's a higher um, potential, uh, you know, success to be had. Good wall, or not wall, but conk at the top of the ramp here for Ryung, making it harder for the Hellions to do splash damage. The Cyclone also makes this more difficult as well. But he still wants more return for what he committed to with the Hellions. He's going to have a Raven here in just a moment. And if Innovation doesn't find some more pressure soon, he will have to just build his three third CC on the low ground. I think that's probably his best option right now. Doesn't mean that his pressure is over by any means. Wow. A second factory, no CC. I, I well. mean, that's one way to be more aggressive, as I was saying. Yeah. This matchup has changed so much it's this totally week. totally different. I, fe I feel like... I don't know what happened over the last week, but some someone did something that has changed this matchup for uh, for now at least. And uh, Ryung is like he is also building a tech lab on that barracks right now, so we might see for the first time some bio coming out. He he could just be making that tech lab preemptively for something else later, but he doesn't have any more structure yeah. to put that on. Let's wait and see. Okay, it's done. You know what probably happens? Well, he's, he's making another barracks here, so... Yeah, there's going to be bio here from Ryung. But mech from innovation, so... Maybe, maybe... You, you know, I always used to talk about and kind of joke about it. It was like, well, if your opponent has three Vikings and you have two, you need to make two more so that you have four. Yeah. And then you don't want to make any more than that. You just want to have just enough to take air control, but then make medevac so you can pick up your tanks, right? Maybe the it eventually hit a tipping point where it's like, well, I need seven Vikings. I need eight Vikings. And people just made so many Vikings and a Raven because PDDs are great. And then they were like, well, if we're making this many... Might as well just make a bunch of tanks and just go mech. <laughs> we shouldn't even I, go for the mile because we're not going to have enough medevacs, right? I think there's certainly some truth to what you're saying. And I and I do think that with the map pool we have, mech is very powerful because there's a lot of naturals like this where you can kind of siege up and pressure. Um, and it's hard to micro against large amounts of Hellions in the early game when you don't have enough units out and you're trying to get your own tech set up. There's a lot of different ways this Raven can be used now. It can be used to try to break these tanks with auto turrets. I think that's what he's starting to think about here because no Vikings have been shown. But he can also use it for PDD. He's waiting to see the Viking counter Ryung because he doesn't know how many Vikings Ryung has right now. He can assume pretty reasonably that he is ahead, but he doesn't have vision of that yet, so he's not going to use that energy until he's ready to go for the break. Oh, and Liberator's getting into the mix. This tank is going to go down. Ryung, in fact, does have more Vikings, but he does not have the PDT or the auto turret here. The tank line has been broken, and Innovation is pushing. He wants to end this game right now, and I think he will. The Hellions here transform into Hellbats, and they will do so much damage. The Liberator gets taken off in the back, but it doesn't matter. Actually, no, it survives. <laughs> oh. Just removed 
And that will be game here. Look at Ryung. He sits back in his chair. He knows it's over. Oh, boy. What a quick one. The scans the third even. Yeah, he's like, what? You even had a third base with this? I just got outclassed. Yeah, well, he is just making it now, but it's not going to feel good coming into this one. Innovation, a nice little timing here. And uh, you probably identified that that third base was coming in very soon, or at least that Ryung was going greedy. GG. GG. The he's crux of this, man, is the Raven. It doesn't work without the Raven. He waits until the Vikings are shown. He's like, okay, I force you to show your Vikings. Don't show your Vikings, I'll kill your tanks with the Liberator. Show your Vikings, I drop the PDD, your tanks die anyways. And maybe, if you're lucky, you win the Viking fight, but I already killed your ground army and the Hellbats are the follow-up. Even if he lost air control there, his Hellbats would have been able to decimate that mineral line. A very well-practiced, well-executed build here from Innovation. And that's why he's one of the best Terrans in the world. Consistently, yeah. builds like this, preparation like this, very, very well done. I was, I was not disappointed with Ryung's play there. I was really impressed with the execution and the preparation that was shown by Innovation for one best of one in the matchup he's so favored in. He still clearly spent so much time creating oh, yeah. this build and this timing. And everything continues to go according to plan, just as we have predicted it here. Uh, Innovation takes the win, and it's 2-1 now to SKT, and MVP's woes continue. We were hoping for one player to give Kumio another shot in the ace match by taking a win and forcing that ace match, but it's so going to be all down to departure here. Yeah, I think the, out of the two matches left, Ryung was the more likely candidate. But Departure has beat big names before, most notably when he was able to beat Biel. Uh, and then his teammate, um, Terror, was also able to do the same. Yeah. Uh, he also beat Hero, yep. I think twice. Yep, actually. with the bro burrowed roach movement when Hero was like just yeah. not changing his builds. Hero sometimes, when he starts winning everything, he just like never changes his builds and then like, he gets this countered. Is the build. Yeah. Actually, this is just the build. This is the best build. I'm only going to do this build. And yeah. you're exactly right. Like, Innovation actually did that on King's Age on Station. Uh, I think that was Pro League, actually, where it was just like, no, I know what you're doing. And yeah. he just like insta countered him. So it was kind of crazy. Uh, I think in this moment, the departure could pull an upset if he is able to somehow stop one of Dark's timing attacks. Dark is best in ZVZ when he hits a Roach timing, a Ravager timing, a Speedling Baneling timing, um, a three base timing attack with Roach's Roach speed plus one, one, or plus two, two. Like He hits these moments where he's like, okay, I have a million Overseers and Overlords. I know at this exact moment you don't have enough Mutalists or you don't have enough Roaches and I have more than you and you try to take out the greedy third base or I saw that you made these drones and he just kills you. And he has so much influence of Sue's old CBZ. We don't see Sue feel that much. SKT had one of their best rounds of all time or one of their worst rounds of all time. But you could see all these timing attacks from Darkness, what he normally does. Um, and if you want to counter that, you kind of just play safe and defensive, right? You try not to be greedy. The problem with that is Dark does these timing attacks against good Zerg players, yeah. but versus someone like Departure, he may just simply straight up play a macro game because he doesn't have to hit a timing in order to win the CVZ. Yeah, I, I feel like he's very good at reading the other player, too. Like, I feel like he very rarely gets build order countered. You know, yeah. like you're saying, it's like, I know what kind of builds I want to use against better players, but like generally he knows if a, a player that's uh, you know, less favored the underdog against him is going to tease or not, and he prepares accordingly. Because you're exactly right. Sometimes he's just like, no, we're just going to play a macro game. I know he's not going to, he's not going to tease me. Sometimes he's like, no, I got to make a safe pool. I know this guy. Like, 